Out cleaning some windows, man. I named this video $897 in three hours for a good reason. Um, have you ever had one of those nightmare days when you're out cleaning windows where you, you quote a house, you get in there to clean the windows, and all the windows are so jacked up, you can't get them open, you can't get them closed, you try to open and close the screens, the screens won't open and close, and you're fighting with every single individual window, and everything that can go wrong will go wrong. And you finally get out of that house, and you get done, and you go exhausted, and you go, you get ex you're exhausted, and then you go to the next house, and then now you're running in to just stupid shit at the next house. It's like stuff outside of your control, right? And then you finally go down that. It's like you barely made any money all day because you run into, you just run into weird shit sometimes when you're clean in this business. And then your buddy DJ Carroll from Kentucky, Coach Carroll, texts you. I, it's just a random text. I just made eight hundred ninety-seven dollars in three hours with the water-fed pool. Nothing else. He doesn't text me anything else. And I just wanted to text him back. Well, good for you. Because today we've only done, I don't know, $400 in work so far. And today's a, a shitty day. We're doing about 675 in window cleaning today. And usually we do like maybe, I don't know, we could do 750 or something. I just made, well, I just made $897 in three hours. I love this water fed pool. I love it, Keith. I'm so glad I bought it. The house we did this morning, cleaning windows, there was like oxidization all over the frames, the windows, and a little bit of water was hitting in and it was creaking back and putting, dude, we were at this fucking house three and a half hours going back and recleaning windows by hand. And the customer sitting there going, look at that little, this was the, oh, and, and that one, and that one too. So I sent those guys back up on a, <laughs> They were literally having a panic attack. And it, nope, go over and do it. <laughs> if you don't clean windows, you probably think I'm nuts. You have no idea. We're on our way to the next job. We just did this house. Um, I don't think many women do this. Window cleaning? You just started your window cleaning business? 300 bucks last week, congratulations. So, um, I never eat candy, but a Snickers bar, man, huh? comfort food. So, we just did this house. I did it two years ago. It's a little tiny house. Don't be deceived. I charge 140 bucks, 149 bucks to do the windows inside and out, plus clean all the tracks. There's only like seven windows. But I forgot, none of the windows were open or closed. They're white vinyl windows. All the screens are broken. You can't get them out of the house. We just literally wasted like two hours inside of a little tiny house with seven windows with three guys. This business is costing me 50 bucks an hour. So I literally just did a whole window cleaning job for free. So what I'm saying is we're discontinuing tracks. We no longer clean tracks. They want their tracks clean. It's going to be forty dollars per window. The hole I'm in needs. <laughs> Anthony Heyman in the house, dog. So I want to say this, and I'll jump off because we got to go to the next job. We're going to clean a commercial property now. My secret mentor. I used to call him and cry all the time in this business when I was making no money. He said, Keith, you have some type of weird moral hang up about wanting to let all the customers know that you have to clean all their window tracks. Stop bringing that up to customers. You're in the business to make money. Sell more jobs and just clean the glass and get in and get out and go to the next house. 
boom, 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 boom. It's not your moral obligation to be sitting there like a slave, you know. We don't offer that service. We don't clean tracks. If you do, it's a specialty. It's 40 bucks a window. <laughs> I ain't kidding. My first two, three years in this business, I would go to these huge houses in Bloomfield, Michigan, mansions, for 11 hours per house, like a bitch with a vacuum, sucking up spider webs and gunking dirt and bugs, filling up and keep dumping out buckets of dirty, nasty water while the customer's following me around, like rich people too. Oh, I think you missed a little tiny bit there in the crank open the window and you're sitting there scrubbing trying to get it all in there and I was proud of in YouTube videos and sharing my customers like other window cleaners we open up the window we scrub all the gears the tracks the components we even give it a fucking magnifying glass and the squeeze in, in the tweet in the tweezers I was like proud of it like proud of being a slave and losing money <laughs> so there's something called pivoting. Uh, Derek Smallwood from Send Jim was on my side of town. He was at Joshua's house, and they're doing some mastermind this summer. But uh, he came by my house, and we hung out. He ended up sleeping on my couch, bro. This guy's a genius. He was doing like 1500 a day minimum in his window cleaning pressure washing business. And he said something so profound to me that I'm doing right now. And trust me, it's hard. He goes, you need to pivot in your business. If you keep doing the same shit, you'll keep getting the same result. So it's literally pulling the trigger and doing different things even though that you're scared and just doing different shit and doing more of what works and less of what doesn't. What are you doing in your business and what am I doing? That's just stupid. This took a snicker as you have. Okay, I gotta go to the next job. Well, I love you guys.